I guess for me, standing in the gap is is doing whatever the Lord puts on our hearts. It's whatever, it, this is God's ministry. This is his vision. Because I'll be honest with you, I really had no like big missionary school or anything like that. So I feel like standing in the gap is us listening to God. What does he want done? He honestly supernaturally connects us with people. I can't even begin to tell you how everything here is just connection after connection after connection. He's made it very easy for us that way. And it's standing in the gap for what he wants done. This is, this is my heart because this is where there is so much love here that you don't get in America. And I know it's genuine. And you know, the people that you saw today, they loved me when I was doing nothing. Because some people are like, well, they probably just love you because you're down there doing things. No, 2008, 2000, I wasn't doing anything. We weren't doing anything like this. They just loved me because they love me. And that's awesome. It has been about relationships with the people in Haiti. It's been about relationships with MFI. It's been about relationships with the donors. Um, it, it, everything has been about relationships. And so she's uniquely wired for that. And uh, as an, another mission put it the other day, how you know she maybe doesn't know how to do any of the stuff, but she's the contact to find the people to do all this stuff. And it's because of all the relationships. It's because she talks to this person and finds out about this person. If Missionary Flights International didn't exist, uh, probably get about that much done. Just being honest. Nobody would be getting wheelchairs, nobody would be getting bikes. It would be hard to get the seeds in. Um, we've also brought down a couple mattresses that brought down paint to fix up uh, our cute little guest house. I'll be honest, without MFI, it'd be a fraction of what it is right now. I mean, you. I can't even, it would literally like be trying to do like this and hop on one leg. You wouldn't be able to get as much done. MFI makes what you see here possible. Missionary Flights, to, uh, to me, Missionary Flights is perfect. I honestly can't think of anything that they could do differently. Everyone from Pegu answers the phone, Sarah, Larry, the pilots, everyone. They're such a joy to work with and I get so excited when I come down and they're excited to see me and we share stories and I love the fact that we pray before the plane takes off and there's just something about flying on those planes is just, it's fabulous. So I, I'll be honest, I just I can't think of anything that they could change except, um, oh, you know what? The hospitality center, that is going to be a huge blessing. I'm not the only one of this ministry. It's also my husband, Paul. Um, we have Fedne, Jocelyn, also known as Diggy, our agronomist, Anson, and country coordinator extraordinaire. We also have Bruno, Bisson, Jodelin. They're all the agronomists. They make it possible what you see here. Josh, jack of all trades, could not do so many things without him. This is a whole team, but it's not even just a team. It's more like a family. We love each other. So we want to give God the glory, right guys? Yeah. Benny, Benny Swaggy turned out.